dog smash. Now I come to US and A dog contest, which is like Miss America contest, only with dogs and ugly women. Chinkui. How are you? Fine, thanks. And please tell me what you do today. Uh, he got best of opposite sex. How do you stop uh, retard boys coming in and well, enjoying the dogs? Uh, you just have to be responsible and be careful. Does this happen? It can. It has. Now your dog is a loser. You are upset? No. No, I don't get upset. Some days you win, some days you don't. You will put him in a sack in a river? No. Why not? No. But he brings shame on you. Too expensive. He didn't bring shame on me. In a Kazakhstan, when you meet a man you respect, you smell him. Oh, yeah? I will smell you. Um, thank you. You want to smell me? No, I'll pass. Thank you for showing me a dog. You're welcome. Bye. No, don't do that again. Please, we don't do that here. Why not? No, 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 no. But we are... Keep your distance. You are my friend. Okay, you stop must... kissing me. Okay, I do not kiss. I am not the man who does with the... I have good. a wife. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. I have a wife. That. You want to see a picture? No, the, yeah, let me see. I want to show. I'm sure she's a beauty. Do not oh, show yeah. your wife. Don't show my wife. <laughs> Do not show. Uh, nice. Go oh, oh, yes. Uh, very nice. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Gracious. I use this. Okay. That's fun. She's uh, uninhibited. What do you do? Well, I'm a professional dog handler. Yes. And I travel all over the United States campaigning some of the top dogs in the United States. And what did it mean? You have a very nice uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. ears. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Oh. Yeah, cheeky. <laughs> and who is she? She's my assistant, my traveling assistant. And I. And what does she do? <laughs> I'll let you tell them what you do. <laughs> yeah, what do you <laughs> I, try, I try to cover her every way. Yeah. I prepare what? the dog. I prepare the dogs yeah. for the show ring. Can I touch your hair? Sure. <laughs> it's been ah. a bad morning, bad hair day. No, it is uh, incredible. It's a beautiful hair. Thank you. <laughs> there is a very famous uh, uh, woman uh, married to Azamat Bagatov, who have a hair oh, like okay. this. You uh -huh. know her? Uh -huh. Her name is no. Lindy. Oh, mine's Linda. Hey, you <laughs> name Linda. Her name Lindy. <laughs> Lindy Bagatov. <laughs> Why you laugh? You know her. I'm just a happy girl. <laughs> she, she is dead. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> no, she is dead. Can I smell you? <laughs> you have a nice smell. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you smell of dog. Oh, good. Good. Can I buy your dog? No, this one's not for sale. Neither one of these are. Can I uh, collect a spermatozoa mm -hmm. from it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes? No? Mm -hmm. No? Yes. Can I collect? No? Not now. We have to get a veterinarian to do it. I will be quick. <laughs> I'm sure you will. I have a <laughs> cup. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. We'll, I have... we'll, we'll uh, give me your name and number and I'll get it sent to you. How's but that? I can do very quick. <laughs> I'm sure you could. How many years have you been doing doggy style? Fifteen years. And why do you like doggy style? Uh, I enjoy showing my dogs and yes. competing in the breed. And I uh, met a woman in New York. She came to my room. Uh, she uh, called uh, uh, Walter. She, uh, I want a massage. She. Uh, say she fifty dollar for a doggy style but uh, there was uh, no dog why she say this that she's 
she asked me for money for a doggy style and I say I only oh, want the money for a massage, maybe happy ending oh, maximum. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. Can I collect the spermatozoa? Uh, possibly. Can I do that? Oh, no, not now. No, no, you may not. Yaksimash. In USA, they treat their horses like we in Kazakhstan treat our women. They feed them twice a day. They make them sleep on straw in a small dark box. And for entertainment, they make them jump over fences while being whipped. I come here to classic Hampton horse show to find out more. Chenkui. Do you like the Hampton? Sorry, I did I, a spit on I you. I love the Hampton. Do they let in gypsies here? Gypsies? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, what about uh, um, how you say um, with uh, with big uh, nose, lot of money? Jewish. Yes, yes. Of course. Do you have a swimming pool in Hampton? Oh, many, many. In 1992, Olympic, we had no Kazakh swimmers. In 1996, Olympic, we have no Kazakh swimmers. In 2000, Olympic, how many swimmers we have? We have a few. One? No, no. none. None? none. Why? Because not good uh, from swim. Hello? Uh, what's your name, please? My name is Skylar Riley. Yes. And uh, what do you do? I just showed in the Grand Prix. Do you like horse? Oh, I love all. I love my horses. I like. I love the horse that I rode this afternoon. We say in uh, Kazakhstan that a horse is like man. Uh huh. Uh, that a good, if a horse is good, it is like if a man is good. Yes, and if a horse is a bad, it is like if a man is bad. Uh -huh. And if a horse is a hungry, it's like if a man is a hungry. Uh -huh. And if a horse is a sad, sad, uh -huh. it's like if a man is a sad. Uh -huh. um, we say if a horse is a happy, happy. Uh -huh. It is like if a man is uh, happy. Okay. Um, we say if um, a horse is angry, angry. Uh -huh. It's like if man is angry. Uh -huh. um, we say if a horse walk is like when a man walk. Um, we say if a horse is old, uh -huh. it's like if a man is old. And we say if a horse is young, it's like if a man is young, like uh -huh. here. And the same, we say if a horse tall, it's like if a man is tall and if a horse small small is like if a man man small and if a horse dead is like if a man dead also we say if a horse sleep is asleep mm -hmm. It's like if a man sleep mm -hmm. and if horse wake, wake, it's like if man wake and, and if horse um, ill, it's like if a man ill, if horse head foot is like man head foot, and 
if horse on the grass is like if a man walk on grass. Mm -hmm. uh, we say in case of stand if you hit horse, it is like if you hit men and we say if you kiss horse it's like if you kiss men so we say a horse is like a man yeah yeah you want to go back okay do you understand yeah Physics is well important, isn't it? Yeah, it is, because after all, physics governs everything that, that's around us. So, what is the Nobel Prize? Well, the Nobel Prize is a recognition some, for some work done. Is there a Best Newcomer Award at the Nobel Prizes? No, no, it's, it's basically one prize. It's a bit like my man Jay-Z when him won the Source Hip Hop Awards, because him had revolutionized the beat and done a... <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, well, you're, that kind of thing. Yes, okay. That, that well, is sort of what you was that, done that, in your that, field. That, that's right. So why did Sir Isaac Neutron shoot that apple off that geezer's head? Uh, well, it's, first of all, Isaac Newton. Newton. I just want to make sure this oh. young, the young people know the name Newton. No worries. Because he, is, he comes from your, your great country, and uh, oh, he, was a, he was a great, uh, one of the great world's greatest physicists who ever lived. And he tried to understand why, when you drop something, why it falls. Well, why would you worry about an apple falling? Well, you, you, well, would you ask the question, why does an apple fall? Would, wouldn't that Who be... cares? He, he cared. Why? Surely there's better things to worry about than like an apple falling no, down. Let me, let me ask the following question. It's obvious because you just drop it and it falls down. Does everyone have to obey gravity? Absolutely. So how come there's this girl in Staines called Aisha whom everyone says her Babylons defy gravity? Her what? Uh, Babylon's, uh, you know, Iraq, uh, you know, she has got these massive Babylon's that is really big. You know, uh, don't want to say the, excuse me, French, but, you know, oh, uh, yes. things. L l let's not get into that. We we we're having a, a, a discussion, which is a serious discussion. Big up yourself. Yeah, good, you're a good man. Yo, good, you is uh, you my man. main man. So we have <laughs> shown that physics is something interesting. And it ain't just something done by stiff geezers who is pricks. He ain't. He is a good bloke, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you. That's very kind of you. What is an animal? Uh, an animal is, well, essentially your... Most living things are plants and animals. I heard that some of these animals is sometimes fed plants. Is that true? Fed plants, yeah. A lot of the, the animals, uh, like this yak, they're strictly vegetarian. Uh, what well, has they, they have, ever tried, mate? Well, like Machu Machuli originally was vegetarian and then we like brought home some KFC one day, le left a zinger on the desk. Next family went there, it weren't there. She said she hadn't eaten it, but I knew she had. Yeah, okay. And they that, actually... that cruel doll just saving all the cash and giving them, excuse me French, but I feel strongly about this, shine. You know, twigs, yeah. insects. It's, yeah. che it's cheap. It's cheap shit, isn't it? How often is the animals allowed back to Africa to like see their families or whatever? Now, once they come here, they almost uh, never can go back. Oh, that is terrible. Not yeah. even, like, on Christmas? Not even on Christmas. Oh, it... Well, have you found it? Can I check out that? What is that, like a squirrel? It's a cocardia. Where is their bathrooms? Um, right there on the ground. But is uh, there even bog roll there? Is there even toilet paper? Um, no, I, but... I can't see it now, uh, I mean, surely that's, that's wrong. Uh, the animals don't seem to need toilet paper. I don't so, know how... Well, how does they, without being disrespectful, how does they clean their arms? It, uh, a lot of them lick it. Oh, that is sick. He was joking. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not.
they can lick their own mm. batteries. Mm. That is amazing, like, flexible like, stuff. I once mm. saw a geezer could, you know, doing his dong, but that is amazing. Mm. Respect. What is this called again? Flamingos. So is all flamingos gay? No, they uh But they come off it. What? Just uh, take a look, what? I was off to meet a chemistry professor who was gonna show me the inside of his labia. Check it. So what is chemistry? Well, chemistry is sort of the, the study of substances. Everything around us is chemistry. You're, oh, well. you're made out of chemistry. I was made out of chemistry? Yes, you're full of water, that's a chemical. I was, I was made out of water? Most of you is water. Is that why I have massive urinations? That contributes. If you stop drinking water, then it would, you'd stop urinating. So how come I can't swim then if I was made out of water? Why can't you swim? I can swim. Or where do you suck in on this? Where does you suck in on this? Well, we don't suck in on that. We use that for something else. All right, so, so I've never seen one like that without the, the uh, you know, the sucking bit. No, we don't suck on that one. Entschuldigung, guess what? I was walking down Melrose, only the coldest street in LA, Los Angeles, and this uber cool girl like she come up to me and says that I look awesome whenever. She invited me to a Missy Elliott video casting, but I feel like a big fat pig. Bruno had a Danish this morning and he hates himself very much. I gotta go to the toilet now and freshen up. <laughs> See you in Funk. Catch you later. Ach ja. Turn your head to the side a little bit more. Perfect. And then look at me though, with your eyes. Perfect. One, two, three. That was perfect. Okay. Bruno, you're next. Bruno with the mohawk. So what do you think of Missy? Missy Elliott. Oh, she's great. I, I know Missy a bit, you know? Cool. Yeah, because like I was in New York in like Tribeca. Mm -hmm. And there's a club set, I went in and she was there. She like walked past and I said, yeah, and like she goes, you know, hey. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I let her just move on because the thing about Missy is she like need her, she need her space, space you know right, that. right, right. So I just let her do her thing and then at the end, just, at the end, I just like wave mm -hmm. goodbye to her. But, you know, I've seen her around a couple of times, you know, she kind of know. Okay. Who, you know, what I do. That kind right, of right, okay. Vibing. Right. So let's do a couple of uh, poses and we should do three quarter length shot of him. All right, so maybe arms folded. Good, nice. And then maybe like another more thuggish pose. Uh, turn okay. the direction of your... Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Nice, nice, okay. And now um, let's just do one, just arms down, um, like you're very proud, arms and proud to be Bruno. Proud to be Bruno. Yeah. Well. Proud. If I just, I Think know. pride. Okay, where is that? Where pride to be Bruno. I'm proud to be Bruno. Good. And cut. All right. That's that it. Is. You're free to go. Okay, and when is, okay. When is the video going to be? We're shooting Sunday, Monday, yeah. and Tuesday. And why do you think I should do it? I mean, I know it's going to be great for Missy, but is it good for Bruno? I think it's going to be good for Bruno. Listen. If Missy wants me... We're going to let you know. Will, will she ring me? We will, I will ring you. Can't you get her to ring me? If she wants me, I'd like her to ring me. I, I think she's going to be really busy, so I don't know. She's got a lot to, on her plate the next few days, getting ready for her video. So maybe after okay, it's over, we'll all go out and party. Okay, but she's going to have an attitude on set and whatever... No, that's not that's Missy at all. Off, you know. That's not her. Okay, Very great. humble. I know her. So, she's you humble. know, say hi from me. I will. Right? Okay, great. Okay, well, good thanks job. Thanks a lot. Okay, Thank you. Great. Peace out. Thanks. Bye. 
and show the little bit and now I'm going to the new crazy phenomenon called new metal a great band called ballistic let's hear what they're doing yeah warum nicht let's go through some of the songs what are they there's a song we got it's called shit fan okay great that shit sounds fan. really yeah cool. it's a song about the uh, a situation where the shit just hit the fan <laughs> and I, I didn't want to call I didn't want to call this uh, it, the, you know the expression, the shit's gonna hit the fan? You ch did a shit on a fan? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't actually shit on a fan. Okay, right. There's an expression. But that would be crazy yeah. if you did. And how do you sing the shit fan bit? It's more like, shit, fan, shit, fan! Kind of like that, like very... I'm just thinking, you know, who are the people who buy records? Uh, it's nine-year-old girls. Majority, and yeah. do, I gotta ask it this question, do nine-year-old girls want to buy songs called Shit Fan or so. Prick? I don't no, think so. Would you be prepared to change the name of Shit Fan to Ship Fan? You know, shoot it on a ship, maybe in the Caribbean, loads of pretty girls, and make it about, I don't know, fan, some fans, some lady fans of yours, who are on the, sh on the ship? No. <laughs> no. And this, your name, Ballistic, how you come up with that name? We were thinking of the name Statistic for some reason. Right, that's cool. And she just said, man, fuck you guys, just call yourselves Ballistic. We're like, no, what? <laughs> hey, <laughs> like, that's not bad. What about calling yourselves Terrific? No. And like, <laughs> but the catch line would be, and these guys are terrific and then there would be a like playing with the words terrific because that would be the name of your band and also you'd be saying that the band is terrific do you understand so oh, you, the, you the, the band would be called terrific but you're also saying they are terrific no no we'd never change that either especially the name in austria our channel is organizing something for a very cool charity it's for mm -hmm. deaf kids mm -hmm. right we got Enrique Inglatis coming, we got the Dixie Chicks, and we got Huey Lewis and the News. Do you want to join them? I don't think it would fit in. It would be crazy though. Oh, it would be crazy, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, these kids, uh, you don't feel sick when you look at them. They are like, all right, they don't have like weird hands or anything. No, 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 They're so just not, deaf. Yeah, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that we wouldn't fit in with the type of music that would be playing that at that concert. What about if we kept the kids right out of this? You didn't even have to look at them. You didn't have to shake their hands. No, you didn't no, even no, have no, to no, speak no. to them. No, no, no. Not even, you know, just keep them out. No, you don't keep understand. Keep the fucking kids away. No, you don't, you don't understand. The kids would probably be one of the main reasons that we, that we would do it. Also, jetzt bin ich mit Alan von der Band Kill Factor. I'm here with a crazy guy called Alan. He's from a band called Kill Factor, which is a metal band. How's it going? We're pretty crazy. Check us out. Kill Factor coming out towards you. Why do you think it's cooler to be dead than alive? Well, dead. I mean, dead, you can do anything you want. Right. Alive. That's super cool. Alive, you got your restrictions. You know, alive, I'm right here. You know, I'm, I'm still in the U.S. I'm doing nothing. You know, I'm playing music and I'm not... I, I want to be on top of the world. Dead, I'm on top of the world. I do what I want. That's very cool. I like yeah. that feeling. I got one problem and I want to say this. The name. Name. Why don't you change the name from Kill Factor to Cool Factor? <laughs> cool Factor. Uh, no, I don't think that'll be happening. We're not trying to be cool. That's not what we're trying to be. We're not trying to well, be. What about like, the cool guys? <laughs> cool guys. Um, no, I don't think that'd work either. That it just we don't not cool. We're not trying to be cool. You know, we're not trying to go out there on stage and go, hey, how you doing? You know, we're trying to go out there and just tear everybody new asshole and fucking. Okay, rock well, what shit. about a crazy name like I don't know, Funky Face? Because we have Kill Factor, we're known as Kill Factor. That's what people know us as. But if you call yourself Funky Face, then you'd not only get your fans, you might lose one or two of them, but you'd get a whole lot of new ones who want to see a band that have got a funky face. They, they might, but, you know, it's f we're, we're, we can't take that risk, you know? 
Do you think if you change the Bible stories, maybe you would get people more easy to relate to them? I don't think you need to change anything, bro. But if you had, instead of the fish story, did it about sushi, or you did, you know, instead of the giving out bread, you did something which had a, a, no, a no carb alternative or something without gluten, then people could relate to it and jump in and say, yes, this is mine. I can, this is one that I can yeah, you know, zusammen. It's like, the, yeah, the Bible is, it was written a long time ago and sometimes it's hard to understand. And is this uh, Christian rock, is it gay at all? Like, happy? What do you mean? No, gay, like, you know, the two men who like to enjoy each other, Mr. Stupin. Ours is it. So, but the other stuff, is there like many gay groups? You know what? I don't think I've ever met one. Do you have a message for Austria's gay community, please? I like women. I like my wife, and I like girls before her. So I, I've never been. Yes, but this is not really help know. them. Never... That is not. It's not a message for them to say that you like. You know what? I'm not gonna say what's right and wrong, but it's like you know in your heart, Jesus Christ loves you no matter what you've done. Also jetzt bin ich hier mit einem sehr schönes äh, Herr. What your name? It's uh, Gregory Stamper. Great, cool name. Thank you. How cool is Jesus? He is so cool that I just I can't put it into words. It brings me to tears to think about it. Is he cooler than the Backstreet Boys? Oh, there's no comparison. What about Justin Timberlake? Oh, there's. It's like comparing, you know, dirt and gold. There's, there's just no comparison. Is he cooler than Madonna? Way cooler. And what is the spiritual message of this music? You know, it's, it's hard to put your, your thumb on it, but it, secular music, so much of it, it just eats away at the soul of kids. Yes, uh, like the devil. Right, right. We know this. Who do you think is most the devil's music? Which artist? That's, that's really hard to say, but... Eminem. Yeah, it's, is, we know this. Yeah. yeah, he's pretty, pretty, has some pretty off the wall views. Do you think he is a friend with the devil? I would certainly think so. Who else do you think the devil influences musically? Oh, Marilyn Manson. Yes, this is very true. Yeah, um, that's just a, that's a very disturbing. I don't even know what to say about it. It's just the whole thing is very disturbing. Uh, Do you think that it is Marilyn Manson or is it the incarnation of the devil on stage? Well, I think it's certainly Satan has taken taken hold of his God-given ability, which is yes. his music or what have you, and has used that for himself. With this devil's music, have you heard of the band Dirty Vagina? No, I haven't heard of them. They are Austrian bands. Mm -hmm. They do terrible things. They take a crucifix, they do a scheisse in a mold of a crucifix, they freeze it, and then on stage they put it up. They are mm -hmm. Does this happen with Eminem and the likes of him? Yeah, probably Marilyn Manson, I would think, would be the closest. I heard that Marilyn Manson did something like this. He did, I don't know if a scheisse, but I think he did spunken in the mold of a crucifix and drank it and then uh, spat it into and kissed actually the devil on stage and let him suck the spunken from his mouth. Mm. That's terrible. It's terrible. How do people like Eminem force children to buy their music? It's not like one day someone comes up to you and you say, do you want to be sat satanic or do you want to worship Satan? It's a process. Yes. You know, they feed There's it. a big difference between right. these two. They feed it to you a little at a time. And it's like one day, you know, you're caught up into something you never would have just walked into. Day one, Eminem. Day two, raping a child. Right. Give a message to Austria's gay community now. I think that... Uh, No matter what your affiliation, no matter what, there's always a way with Jesus Christ. And where did you grow to be so cute? Uh, I guess I can give that to my parents. You just got such a nice 
Okay, what direction is this going in now? No, I'm just saying that it's great to know these things. Can I, like, hang out with you, like, the rest of the night? Come on out. Great, and we can maybe, like, dance and have some good times? Uh, I don't think so. I'll be going home to my wife, but, uh... Oh, okay, what what time? Okay, I'm out of here, okay. guys. Okay. Check this out. Today we is going to be chatting to some heads about the issue called human rights. How long has there been human rights? The ideas have probably been there since the beginning of time, but it's only since 1948 that we've talked about what we owe each other as international and universal rights. As the right to being private changed since December the 11th. Hey, remember Orwell's 1984 about Big Brother? No. Uh, okay. Uh, it, it's just the, the idea that, that there's a Big Brother there and he is uh, filming you and he is taping you and he's watching every move you make. Does you think it is possible that we is even being filmed now? Well, obviously we're being filmed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. by the U.S. Yeah. government. Right, right, no, right, right, no. right. Well, even I is shocked on the drive down here from New York. Ah. Driving down, the car I was in was stopped at these kind of barriers mm -hmm. like four times, four sets of these barriers that they had obviously just set up. And the only way we could get through them was the, the driver obviously knew had some kind of bribery thing. He dropped a couple of dollars. <laughs> Actually, we call those toll booths. Right. Is freedom of speech really all that? Don't it just give me Julie the right to talk rubbish all day long? I think we probably will accept a lot of rubbish so that the right itself won't be infringed. Yo, but if she nagging all day long and say, oh, did you see Sex in the City last night? Oh, George Clooney is so good looking. Oh, did you see my new shoes? Oh, I was pregnant again, whatever, you know. That well, made me crazy, isn't it? Free speech is limited when it begins to harm someone else's security so, and safety. Can people force other people to say things? No. How come me Julie can force me to tell her that me love her? You have a choice whether or not to do that. You could leave. No, me don't, because sometimes she prepare me favorite food, which is hot dog with, like, the mustard stuff, you know, uh -huh. the really good stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, the, the yeah. spicy stuff. <laughs> right. yeah. And she say, yo, you know, she cook it, and then she go, yo... Me love you, you know. And I say, oh, that's thanks. And she goes, yo, me, me, you know, me love you. You want some hot dog? I go, yeah, yeah, you know, thanks. Give me the hot dog. Yo, me love you. What does what, what does you think? Of? And then, you know, me just go, yo, can me have the... And she goes, yo, I'll, unless you say you love me, you ain't getting none of this. Ain't that against me human rights? No. No. But me love hot dogs. Ain't that a form, of, a form of torture? Yes, but not technically speaking. So let's talk about women rights. I ain't used the word bitches. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Is you a feminist? Absolutely. And what is your other hobbies? My other hobbies? Yo. Is feminism a hobby? It's feminism I don't consider a hobby. It's, it's a way of life. Does you think that women should have equal rights in the workplace? Absolutely, yes. But ain't there the danger if them get equal rights in the workplace, then them will start asking for them at home? I don't see that as a danger at all. I think they should have equal rights at home. So does you think that women should be expected to do the cooking and cleaning when they come home from work? No. So does you think it's better that they does it before they leave for work in the morning? I think the question is how it gets done. Right. I guess My I... husband cleans the house. I don't. I he guess... wants me to clean. I hire a cleaning lady. I don't clean. Well, he does I cook. the cleaning. Well, we... I cook. <laughs> he cleans. I cook. Well, now, funny. if you heard me say that publicly, I'd probably be in trouble. But, you know, I think if we <laughs> think of it... husband doing all the cleaning. <laughs> what? Does he wear all the costume and everything? No. He likes it. I've got a joke. Okay. You know, Good. It's like, um, eyes well into women's rights and their lefts and their lefts. 
Now, I, now with, with, with your comment earlier yeah. about the bitch, mm-hmm. right. uh, that you're going to take uh, exception does to that. Get, yeah. I got it. it. Yeah, I did get it. Yeah, I did get it. I mean, you have to be. Yeah. I mean, I guess you know. Again, for me, it. What else is like that? Normally, like go down. I mean, really well. No, (laughs) you mean that joke? I said, you know, I said like they're right, like what we is talking right. But it's also in England we say that you're right, like your right hand side. Yeah. You know, Mm -hmm. you're right, and then the left, like us talking Mm -hmm. as if they're bubbling. Yeah. I like their right. Yeah. We got it. On we there. We got it. It's not respectful. Where's the line? If my employer comes up and says to me, honey, you know, makes a joke like that, what am I supposed to think? Yeah, you're going to laugh. Then you're going <laughs> to think, what? <laughs> well, no, what's no he laugh. trying to get at? What's he insinuating? What does that mean for my job? But you okay. must have been trying well hard not to laugh. It wasn't you funny too. to me. But you was laughing. I did. I did laugh. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. You was, well. I laughed. I, I did. didn't. Yeah, because it's a well... <laughs> But did you, did you not laugh because you didn't understand no, it? No, I understood it, but for me, those things are offensive. Because it takes a while to get because it's too thin. I believe that you, you didn't You does get it. it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So and explain I'm, it, if you got to say. It has to do with the size of their breasts. Yeah, that's it. That's I got right. it. <laughs> All right, okay, okay you did I get it. Because I thought maybe sometimes, I ain't saying I does this, but if someone says a joke, I, I go, yo. Didn't get it. Uh, no, I don't say I didn't get it, but if I didn't get it, I say, yo. I don't like Keep that. Keep that to yourself. Uh, yeah. I don't right. like yeah. you saying that. Yeah. Say that stuff somewhere else. Well, on but this then th- if someone else explains to me, you know, sometimes I have a little... Right. No, love. I got it. It's just offensive to me. This has been well interesting. So you've got one word you want to say. Yo. Peace and respect. December 10th, Human Rights Day. December 10th. Love and peace. Respect, love, peace. So I do rap with that, yo. So, yo, check it out, yo, because it's love and peace. And I ain't talking about my peace, my AK, yo, uh, that whatever that I bought from my niece. I was talking about, what was it, loving it? Loving it. Respect. Respect. I was talking about December the 10th. Um, I was talking about the 10th of December. You've got to remember because there's g- going to be some things. And I ain't talking about September. It's talking about December. And yo, peace, yeah? Peace, respect. Y- yo, was it was respect? Right. Yo, because I was talking about respect on the decks. That's my man. Yo, checks. He pays the checks of money. And that's what it's all about. All right? Safe. Keep it real, yeah, respect. Yeah. Yo, yeah. good luck with yeah. what's happening. Yeah. Safe. Yo. Safe. Yo. Keep it real. I want you to imagine. Do you know the word imagine? Yes. Imagine that one of your parents is in front of you. Patty? Open your eyes and look at the person. Talk. Cry and talk. I see... I see a a woman who's... She's... Her back is all curved over. She's so much shorter than she used to be. Look at your parent. What can you see? A lot of jewelry. Describe it. Gold watch. Gold pinky ring. Gold bracelet on his other hand. Wedding ring. Okay, everybody, relax. Good, good. Let's want, forget it. I want to talk about my mother. Okay, look at her. Look yeah. at your mother. What do you see? She sees me, she is shouting me. She shouted to me always, boy, that's why you do not do this. Boy, that's why you do not uh, never bore at your good man. No, I never bore at good boy. Bore at you do not know why you do not. Why in your exam you only Very get good. 91 percentile. Why as a Mat Bagatov, you get more percentile. Stop. You get 92 percent, but he take more than me. Boy. And I would cheat. Stop. I'm a Mat Bagatov and I want Natalia, my sister. Boy. My sister always, that's why you not like Natalia. Why 
I'm not Natalia. I'm not Natalia. Stop. I'm not Natalia. Stop. But I'm not Natalia. Stop. But I'm not Natalia. Good. She's not Natalia. I am Stop. on the television. Stop. I am in New York. Stop the exercise. But I am in New York and where she? She never gave me cuddles. Stop. What she do? She's going to use the exercise and then she's going to do this monologue from Shakespeare. It's from Julius Caesar. Uh, yes, Shakespeare. Shakespeare, yes. Is she started? No, she's, she's preparing. Do you know the word prepare? Yes, ha. prepare. Ha. 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 Just watch and you'll ha. see. Yes. We'll, we'll talk about it afterwards. Ha. This is not Shakespeare. This is the preparation, yes. the exercise. First she does an exercise, then she'll do Shakespeare. You'll see. Yes. You open in my back. Very bad stuff from my mother. She never loved you. She never said this. She never do a cuddle. So should I cuddle you? Please. <laughs> Have a cuddle. That's a good goodbye. Right? You, I can be your father cuddling you. Yes. I'm Joe. Hello, Chinkui. Hi. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Take off your jacket. So what I want to start with is some very simple unarmed techniques. Yes. Yeah, the kind of things that you might do typically in a drama on stage. You'll notice that when I'm slapping you, my hand is not getting closer and closer and closer to your face. Right? Yes. Instead, it's staying way out here, as if there were a pane of glass between us and moving back and forth. There is no glass. Imaginary. Yes. And when you teach, you do with a glass? No, imaginary. As if. So why you say a glass? As I'm using it as an example. If it's ah, an yes. image that helps you, okay. If it doesn't, then that's okay too. You will teach to smash. I smash the glass. No, there isn't any glass. So why it's imaginary you... glass. It's an image. Yes. yes. You smash through a glass. Across. You Not sm smashing through. Across. I smash a glass. No, just moving back and forth across. If, you you, if the image is confusing, then forget the glass for the moment. We do not talk about the glass. Forget it. Okay, so before we go on to the next thing, if your clothes are here, you should change so that you're a little yes. bit more comfortable to move. I change. Yes, yeah, so it's the changing room is right through there. Ready? Yes. Come on, let's add a little bit more to what we were just doing. Okay, so we just, we just did the physical action of yes. the slap. But if we're not making contact, where will the sound be coming from? Yes. One way to make that napping sound is by clapping our hands together. Yes. So if you take the fingers of one hand yes. and just clap them into your palm. Yeah? That sound. Yes. That's one way to make the sound of the slap. It's yes. called the clap nap. Clip. Yeah. Nap. Like that. The cat have a nap. The cat have a, has a nap and this is the clap nap. That's the action that I want you to do yes. when I make the motion yes. of the slap. If you do it at the same time, it creates yes. the sound of the slap taking place. Here's the hand. Yes. Good. Now that was, that was good, but it was different time, you see? The yes. sound was later. So try to do the sound at the same time that you turn yes. your head. Ready? One more time. Yes. Too soon. See the difference? Yes. Same time that you turn your head, like this. Yes. Yes? Same time as you're turning your head, yes. you're clapping your hand. Try that once. Yes. Do it one more time. Good. Now, do it along with my hand movement. Yes. Here's our eye contact, right? And too soon. You see, my hand didn't go yet. Here's an our rude boys. The media. A lot of you out there probably never even heard of the word. Is books part of the media? Absolutely. What is the point of them? I mean, I ain't done this, but has any of you actually ever read a book? Oh, of course. <laughs> no, I, yo, no, no, no. I was talking about that old thing. I've yep. read thousands of books. 
in my life. I have a, oh, I have I a don't show up. But <laughs> well, I mean, some people. Some, well, I, I name can, one then. Name one. Yeah. <laughs> I was reading one today called "Sex Lies and Videotape." Is that a, is that a real book? Uh, it, uh, to my understanding, it was a film, but it may yeah. it may also. All right, be so a that's book. a film. That ain't a book. What does you think about violence on TV? Nobody, I don't think, in their right mind would say there shouldn't be any violence in entertainment. The question is, do you depict it in a way that makes it appealing? But what harm has violence ever done? Oh, death. I mean, you... you yeah, but apart from that. Well, death and injury. I mean, if well, you all die, you're injured. All right. Well, that, apart from that, yeah, those two things, yeah. Does you think that violence on the telly leads to violence on the street? Well, I, I would begin with, I wouldn't limit it to television. You got film, you well, got violence rally, in the you media, got rap, whatever. you got video games. With full respect, though, that is BS. That's not, that's down for BS. <laughs> because me watch Star Trek, but that don't mean that me go out and build a spaceship and fly into the air and above that into the thing called space and have, you know, all them ears and all that thing. Well, that's... It? Well, to me, that Yo, makes a point. Answer that. There's a difference between violence that is readily and is easily imitatable versus ray guns. Should telly be used to educate our children? The television could be a powerful medium for education. Well, like Sesame Street is very educationalist. I have learned a lot from that. Why don't they make a version of Sesame Street for kids? That's what it's for. What? That's what it's made for. With all respect, the other day we saw it and the letter was X, and we don't think that kids would understand that. Check this. Did you know that xylophone is spelled from X? Yeah, sure. But zoo is spelled like with something, the other one. Yeah, zoo is spelled with Z. <laughs> Do you think that there should be censorship? We have censorship on television. Me grew up watching whatever me wanted. Me was watching pornos from the age of 11. And we don't see me Julie complaining now. Every time. So does you think it's all right to see animals on the telly? People having sex with animals? What? No. Oh, you mean sex with animals? <laughs> Se animals having no. sex? No, animals. Mean, animals having sex with no. animals? Yeah, take it easy. It is disgusting enough seeing a <clears throat> woman and a horse do it, but actually seeing two horses getting jiggy together, that was actually on the television. While I don't personally enjoy watching two elephants have sex, uh, on a PBS special, I don't consider it pornographic. So, does you think the media put too much attention on women to look a certain way? I think that it um, does clearly present an unreal image of life. But does you think there's enough pressure being put on women from the media? Because there's still so many fatty boom booms walking around. People need to think about that. They need to look at um, a Rosie O'Donnell and say, well, that's someone who looks like most more of the people I see day to day. Yeah, right. That's well, another point. come off it. Rosie O'Donnell, how much? How much? I think Rosie <laughs> O'Donnell is clearly the exception. Not even for a million bucks, but you wouldn't. She is the exception to this presentation. We want to say big up to all of you lot out here. Me hope to all my peeps out there that you has learned something and at least taken away one thing, whether it is that you think it is all right to watch the National Geographic channel, watch Two Elephant Boning like this man does. You at home, make up your own mind. Keep it real, peace. country is the number one in the world? I think right now the U.S. is number one. You think maybe Kazakhstan is number one country now? No. But we have the biggest 
apple in the world over three kilo is in Almaty. How big you? That's not the important thing. It's the freedoms that we give people or allow people to pursue. Yes. Uh, in Kazakhstan, though, we have woman who has a record for amount of hair on pubis. She has certificate from World Health. Does it make any difference? Does your country allow every citizen the equal right to pursue the happiness and the freedoms and the liberties? Are they totally free in your country? Can they mm. pursue those freedoms? Not so much. Can they vote? Can uh, they select officers for their country? But do you have the biggest man-made box? Doesn't make we, any we difference. Do. We do. Don't, doesn't In make any difference. In the world, number one. I still don't care. Tangerine, how much produce? How many kilo produce? I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the right. Three thousand. Not tons. interested. Don't care. You will say Kazakhstan is number one country? No, nope, I will not. But we have men with most amount of fingers. It doesn't make he any has, difference. There's nope. a man in Almaty with eight finger. It doesn't make any difference. You don't have what we have, which is the freedom to pursue happiness, the freedom to pursue liberty. The freedom to choose, the freedom to speak, the freedom to vote, freedom to elect our officers. That's what makes country number one. And the rest of it is not important. We have biggest goat, second <laughs> biggest care. goat. And I think number two goat no, no. is not as big as no. Hungary <laughs> has a bigger, but U.S. number five. No, don't care. You're not listening to me. Are you in a fight? Did you a fight? I was in uh, Vietnam. Ah, we like. In Cambodia. This was during the Vietnam War. Ah, in Cambodia. How you say you kick their ass? <laughs> yes? <laughs> we kick their we kick their ass, their butts. What do you call people who are not patriot here? Well, I call them communists. I don't like them. Yes, I don't communist. like them. I don't like them. I uh, see a show in San Francisco. Uh, a man do many bad things with a flag. He uh, do uh, uh, water from his mouth on the flag. Why do you not put him in a prison? Well, me, if I saw that, I would, I would, uh, I would, I would put this yes. in his face. He did. Uh, he take the flag and he wipe his arms on the flag. Well, then I would, I would. What uh, would you do? I would just up his up his ass, up the ass. The man then he do a. A hand relief, and he put a tissue spray on the flag. What would you do? I From his thumb, release liquid. Like you said earlier, I might be tempted to cut to his uh, thumb. scrum, crumb off. You know, like <laughs> I agree with you, hundred and ten percent. He called his show star. Stars and wipes. You know him? No, I don't. So where is where, what part of America? Is In this? the San uh, San Francisco. Yes. It wouldn't surprise me. Anything, anything could. Uh, that's one of the most liberal cities in America. It's bad. Uh, are most of the anti-patriot are they mainly? No, 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 no. A bunch out of San Francisco, a bunch. Yes. Basically, in America, we call them something else besides loonies. What do you call them? It's two guys that like each other. We call yeah. them gays here. And yes. that's the type of people uh, that you see doing a lot of that. Are many of these gays, are they the people who are anti-America? They're anti-anything. Yes. Yeah, anything, basically. Why do you not go in and take your crumb and bang them in the anus hole until they say America number one. Uh, well, they've got rights. They've got as many rights, believe it or not, as I do. And there's nothing, as much as I would like to, I can't. My name is R.W. Moore. What is that? R. W. Moore. I'm Shantae. Good to see you. My pleasure. You ask the questions, I fill in the holes. 
Oh, that's naughty. <laughs> Very naughty, RW. <laughs> so tell me about your outfit. You've gone for an all-in-one kind of piece. It's very retro, it's very now, it's very in. We've been seeing it all over the catwalks of Milan. Why did you choose it? It's very brave. My wear, or what I'm I wearing? I love it, I absolutely love well, it. Well, it, it's my uh, truth newspaper. And tell me about the color. You've gone for a kind of khaki, kind of military kind of theme. It's very in at the moment, it's very well, European. Well, well, you look great. Well, because you see... If okay, you've got a great part of uh, uh, the, the, the color would be conducive for uh, my logo. In Kazakhstan, uh, we say it makes you feel like a real man when you shoot. It's a nice feeling. I yes. enjoy it. It feels good. Your body feels uh, alive, uh, good, like a proper man. Especially when you're shooting a machine gun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, How many can it's it? It's about eight hundred rounds per minute. Wawa Wawa is a good gun. <laughs> eight hundred per minute. Yeah. It means you have a many criminal try to you kill. Yeah, you can just waste them. After I'm done with guns, I always go to the topless club. Wawa Wawa, I like it very much. Only to only shoot a gun and to see a big. Uh, and that, and that what? Yeah, that really sums it up. This is what a man should do. A man should be able to shoot the gun and enjoy. Go look at naked women. Yes. Yes. High five. <laughs> <laughs> In uh, Kazakhstan, now they take a very, very, very bad, evil criminal, and they let you practice them in. Uh, two of the gun club. You think they should do here? Oh, my word. Oh, you guys are crazy. Why not? Oh, man, that's <laughs> the craziest thing I ever heard. You think I like it, but it's crazy. Should. We execute people, yes. but the government has to do it. Why can they not it do it in a done. gun club? Well, there's probably no good reason why not. It would be a fun. But we don't, yes, it, it probably would be fun. Okay, come on through. So how about I kick your ass, Osama? See you here. Wah, wah, wee, wah. You are a real man. High five. Can you buy this gun for self-defense? It's possible. It's not easy to. Can you buy anti-tank gun for self-defense? You can. Good. In Texas. Good. 